Professor Datsa, the World Economic Forum is launching the Global Information Technology Report today. Over the past seven years, what are the main findings? Can we say that some regions have improved and some have dropped? Well, we have a number of interesting findings. I think the most important finding is technology does have a strong impact on competitiveness and development. So today we don't need to rely on anecdotes. We have hard data to show that countries that have improved and invested in technology have also improved the competitiveness over the last few years. Give us an example of countries that have really leveraged the uh, ICT. Well, you see a number of different countries in the world who have risen dramatically over the last several years. One country that has moved in the top 10 position right now is Korea, this year ranked at number nine. And we all know Korea from the various technology products that we buy, perhaps in Korean companies, that Korea has been investing very heavily in technology as a strategic means to improve their overall competitiveness. Another country that we noticed that has come up in recent years very dramatically also is Estonia. And Estonia is a country that has made technology a strategic tool for ensuring that they have a free and open society. It's one of the few countries where access to the internet is a basic constitutional right. What can we say about the Middle East? The Middle East is also a fascinating area. So what you see happening in this area is they all are focusing on creating knowledge economies, on moving away from dependence on oil. And central to this focus on knowledge economies is investing in technology and innovation. And so you see the Middle East is having made the most important move, an upward move as a whole, in technology competitiveness over the last seven years. What about the emerging economies of China, India, Russia? Well, of course, these economies you know, shine and uh, China, India you know, have made tremendous progress in both uh, you know, on the software side for India in particular and hardware side for China in particular. But also interesting is the progress made by Russia and Ukraine. So all these economies are moving very significantly and clearly you will see more from these regions in the next few years. One question about the methodology. How do you measure information technology you know, readiness? It's a very good question because there's no simple answer to that. But what we have done is we have researched what do people think about technology and competitiveness. And we've come up with a simple framework that combines two different elements. So it combines the technology adoption by the three major actors in the economy, individuals, businesses, and governments. At the same time, what it does, it also considers the environment in which these three different actors operate. The macroeconomical environment, the political environment, regulatory environment, and, and infrastructure in the country in general. 